happening this weekend. There's a new gym opening for children. But this one is different than most. It's a place for children with sensory disorders like autism or ADHD where they can just be kids. Rachel Alzafon is live right now and she has more. Yeah, Laura, and in addition to the main floor, which we showed you earlier, there are also two very important rooms here, the calming room and the therapy room. The gym's owner, Jess Sills, one of the owners, I should say, joins us this morning. Now, can you tell us, uh, starting with the calming room, can you tell us about this? Yeah, so we um, really felt that this was important to have in the gym because a lot of times children with sensory processing disorders um, can have meltdowns, and this, is, this room allows them the opportunity to calm down, regulate their systems, reorganize, and then come on back out and play. And there's also on the, the other side of this area, there's also the therapy room, which we want folks to be able to take a look at. Can you tell us what's in here, Jess? Yes, so this is going to be the therapy room. Um, we're gonna be hosting um, different classes in here, such as yoga, dance, art. We have an art painting night coming up. And it's also an opportunity for therapists to come in here and do therapy. Um, social skills classes, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and um, I, I really hope that therapists in the community come on out and use this resource. Um, and I hope that the parents come out and bring their kids to the classes. Yeah, and we have a list of classes that we can actually pull up for you guys at home. And can you just tell me, I know that you know there's obviously all this fun stuff to do here at the gym, some really great purposes here. Why did you want to incorporate classes as well? It's just um, an opportunity for us to provide classes in an integrated setting, but with smaller classes, so smaller class sizes. Um, this way children with special needs can learn the skills that they need with their typically developing peers in a um, smaller environment. Jess, thank you so much. And coming up in the next half hour, we're going to take a look at the main gym floor, tell you some of the important equipment there and how this helps children with sensory, sensory processing disorders. Live in Derby, Rachel Elzapon 7 Eyewitness News.